Wow! Welcome to Crew Vlogs! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like you were born ah! Hey, I'm Marco. I'm Minus 18's Communications Manager. Hey, I'm Indigo. I work with the Standout Network and with social media and communications. On May 17th, we celebrated IDAHOT. IDAHOT is International Day Against Homophobia and Transphobia. We released heaps of awesome memes on Tumblr, Twitter and Facebook. We went down to Monash and celebrated with them, gave out heaps of stickers, merch and new bags. They promote really the gay agenda. <laughs> we released an article that our awesome crew member Alice wrote about all the really positive improvements we've seen in the queer community in the past year. We saw a mini launch of Gender Is Not A Uniform this week, which is a really great new initiative with Safe Schools Coalition Victoria, My Gender, Minus 18, <laughs> and a bunch of other really incredible community organisations all committed to basically tackling gendered uniforms in schools. What that means is it enables trans young people to wear the uniform they're most comfortable in. So last month, Minus 18 partnered with a group called Loop 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 I did TV acting classes. I don't know if you can tell. It doesn't show. <laughs> last month, we partnered with Loop to Loop. They are a monthly animation competition. And last month's theme was Rainbow to help celebrate Idaho and all that good stuff. Last Tuesday was the screening uh, where we looked through all of the amazing loops that people had made and picked a winner. And here is our winning loop. It's going to be over us when it actually is here. So massive congratulations and thank you to everyone who submitted. So don't forget to check out Loop to Loop. We've put their links in the description down below. In my crotch. <laughs> At the end of May, something really incredible happened. Laverne Cox, a uh, trans activist and actress well known for her role as Sophia Bursette in Orange is the New Black, was on the cover of Time magazine. Um, to quote Ellen DeGeneres, it's about time. <laughs> Marco is so unimpressed. <laughs> it's really incredible to see Laverne Cox, a trans woman of colour, in such a visible place like on the cover of Time magazine. It is a really big step forward for the queer community and we just love her so much. We love Laverne Cox. We love her so much. We kind of want to marry her. So much marry. We <laughs> I love her! We also just completed filming on our pronouns video, which I'm really pumped for. I helped film it, I helped present it, and I'm currently editing it, so hopefully I'll have that to you in the next couple of weeks. This month, we decided to open up Q&A and mm -hmm. answer some of your questions. So, from Zach, can we have a second formal this year? As much as I love the same-sex formal for the next, like, three days, I couldn't feel my feet, and that was not unique to me. I didn't even have feet at the end of the formal. It nubs. Is bloody nubs. <laughs> Fatima asks, why are you so perf? Maybe I know. <laughs> <laughs> why are you so perf, Fatima? Uh, how did you find out you were LGBTI, all of them? <laughs> I guess for me, it's been something that I've always been kind of aware of. When I was 13, 14, I suddenly realised, oh, bisexuality is a thing. There's a word for that because I was always confused. I'm like, well, I'm not gay, I'm not straight, but someone started talking about bisexuality as this weird thing and I'm like, holy shit. And it just kind of was like, oh, yeah, this this is me. I went to an old girls school and basically in like year seven, eight, and nine, um, you'd like take the tram with your friends and you'd check out all like the boys in the tram and they were like, yeah, look at those hot skivs boys, look at those hot Xavier lads. And I was just like, they definitely have some awkward facial hair, but you know, I'm just not feeling it. Also, I'd like to think that um, listening to a lot of David Bowie and watching the Rocky Horror Picture Show was definitely a gateway to the queer life. <laughs> Jason asks, how does Tim Chris Sidulu manage to look so perfect in every picture? Is he just naturally photogenic and handsome, or is there a lot of photoshopping going on? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, uh. <laughs> Don't worry if you missed out, we've got heaps of Q&As coming soon. We've just released the Virginity Vox Pop video edited by yours truly. Get ready for some sexy times. Check that out here. So that's it for this week. Uh, thank you so much for watching. 
You guys are awesome. I'm Jess and I filmed and edited this video. I hope you guys are really enjoying crew vlogs as much as I am. Uh, let me know what you're thinking below in the comments. If you have any questions you'd like us to answer in the future, you can leave those below as well. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. If you want to learn more about Minus 18, click on my face. Boop. Thanks for watching.